guys, it's Diamond and today I am here to do a first impressions full face of this new company that I got introduced to. We are going to jump straight in full face with Sistar Cosmetics later. I don't think that they had any brow products or maybe I just didn't select them. So I went ahead and did my brows and stuff off camera and yeah, we're going to do everything Sistar. I hope that's how you say it. It's it's sister but with an A. So sister. I'm gonna let you guys know everything that I'm using as we go along and try to let you guys know what I think. I'm gonna focus on the sister cosmetics as opposed to anything else. So other products used will be left in the description box if you guys want to check it out. So yeah, thank you guys so much at Sistar for reaching out and sponsoring this video. And let's just get straight into it. I am super excited because the products actually seem pretty cool so far like everything seems cool so far and they sent me over a good amount of things that I asked for so I'm happy I can give you guys a full review tutorial instead of just like oh well I have three items to show you so yeah don't mind my Felicia braids y'all should know by now this is a process so it's gonna look cute in the end it just doesn't look cute right now <laughs> So I'm going to start really quickly by just priming my eyes. We're going to be doing a little bit of shadow, like a really simple shadow look. So I'm just going to prime my eyes so we can get into that. Okay, so now that I went ahead and put my base down for my eyeshadow, I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette. It's called the Sun Kissed Eyeshadow Palette. So I am going to start with this color in my crease the second to last or the second color I'm gonna start with that in my crease so I'm gonna take now this second to last color here not the darkest but the second to darkest and I'm just going to go in with that not take it as high as I took this first one but still just kind of defining the crease Alright, so going back in, I am going to try this third shade, the more bronzy looking one, not the rose gold one. I'm going to try this one and put it all over the lid. I'm going to wet my brush first. Okay, so I'm going to just leave the eyeshadow like that. Like I said, I'm just going to do something really natural and really simple. So, yeah. I mean, the color payoff from the shadow was actually pretty good. Like I said, some of the shimmers were a little bit eh. But, like, for the matte shades, I think that it actually was pretty good color payoff. It definitely wasn't, like, too sheer or anything like that. So, that's cool working pretty good so far alrighty so for my skin I actually got a foundation so this is the it's you skin perfecting liquid foundation and all it says is that it enhance it says enhance your natural beauty weightless long-lasting flawless finish so I got this in the shade golden beige and I also got some concealers the concealers are also by It's You. I got a range of shades for myself. I wanted to have one that was my skin tone, one to highlight, and one to contour. And I got a color yellow just in case these weren't yellow enough for me so I could mix them in. The darkest shade that I got is in the shade Brownie and it looks like this. Um, my skin tone shade is golden beige which should match my foundation. I got the shade yellow like I said in case these weren't yellow enough for me. And I got the shade ivory for highlighting as well. So to start I'm going to go in with the It's You Skin Perfecting HD Concealer in Golden Beige. And um, I have hyperpigmentation around my eyes. I'm not sure how the foundation will cover that. So I got a concealer to cover that first. Um, so yeah, let's just go in with this. Yeah. 
All right, so now that I already got like a little bit of coverage down, just in case, because we don't know how the foundation going to go, let's go in with the Skin Perfecting Liquid Foundation. This is what the tube looks like, and it says weightless and long wearing. So once again, this is in the shade Golden Beige. I picked these shades online, so I can say that it must be pretty accurate with the shades because... Um, I would say that this shade for the concealer is pretty much a perfect match, so this foundation should be pretty much the same. It has a little pump, which I really like, so I was thinking about going in with a brush, but I think I'm just going to go in my beauty blender, so I'm just going to spray this directly on. And it looks a bit darker, but it should be a little sheer, so should be an okay match but yeah you can see it's a little dark I'm glad that I went in and did the concealer first so honestly I will say overall with the foundation I am impressed I am impressed because when you're getting makeup especially from a company that's not necessarily like known or in stores I automatically go to I don't want to have stuff breaking my skin out I don't want to have things that aren't good for my skin because I do have more of a sensitive type of skin texture but honestly this looks good like it's easier to nail these type of products I feel that aren't like full coverage or full this full that like skin perfecting is a good way to describe this because I do feel like it looks like my skin um, it feels really lightweight just like it says thing I don't know if this would do well with texture but yeah I don't have texture I have smooth a smooth base my colors are just all over the place so yeah we are going to highlight and contour I am going to start with this ivory concealer It smells a little painty. It smells a little like paint. And some people might feel like this is a little bit light. Once I blend it out, it's gonna look fine. Um, but if you don't wanna use a concealer this light for your highlight, you definitely don't have to. I have always been into like light concealer. But when I blend it out, it looks fine. For the contour, I got a concealer for that too. It is in the shade Brownie. And this might even be a little too dark. But I think it'll do. It's really lightweight but it's really nice looking um, like I said it's probably because I don't have texture in my skin so all I'm really looking for is the color to show up and I think that is showing up really well if I had to think of something to compare this to I probably would compare it to um, Maybelline fit me Not gonna lie, I was a little, 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 little bit nervous about, was a little nervous about the darker concealer. It was looking a little muddy when I first started blending it, but I really like how everything looks, like for right now. And the lighting might even be throwing y'all, might look a little light, a little dark, but it actually looks really good. And also my under eyes have not even creased and I was letting them 
sit while I did my contour. So yes, I am lit about this so far. And it's crazy because starting out, I was thinking like, okay, the shadow is probably going to come out really nice and I'm probably going to hate the complexion products. I just think in general it's easier to get shadow right than it is to get like foundation concealer and stuff right but this just feels so right it feels so right so um we're gonna go in with the it's you skin perfecting finishing powder and translucent and i know what y'all are thinking like dun 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 like girl this could possibly really mess your whole your whole life up and i know i know but we're still gonna give it a try and we're just gonna use it to set. I'm gonna set all my under eye and all my highlighted areas. I'm going in with excess on my brush, but not enough to bake, like just a little extra, but not baking, you know? And yeah, even this powder so far, it feels like really good. And it's starting to just like melt in. So, I am pretty excited, not gonna lie. This is their contour palette in the shade medium for lifted, healthy, and slimmer look. Easily refined and define natural depth and add dimensions to your beautiful features. Our contour palette includes three shades for shading, bronzing, and highlighting. So yeah, shade, bronze, and highlight. Cute, okay. Well, this is what it looks like. This shade is more of the highlight shade. It will be too dark for me to like highlight highlight with. I would have to put like some kind of shade on top because yeah, it's more of like a bronzy color, which on me it doesn't it doesn't really come up as any color because it's kind of my same skin tone, but yeah. So this is like a bronzy like shimmer color. I'm gonna assume this is the shading color and that this is the contour color because it's more of a brown. So I'm probably going to mix these two and just go in because this one's a little more red. This one's a little more yellow. And I don't want it to be really red, but I also don't want to use this because I think it's a little too. Yeah, so we just go. We, we, y'all going to see. Y'all going to see. We're going to mix them. So yeah, we're going to just get a little of this, get a little of that. I was on Instagram live a couple days ago and so I was like girl you come to your nose like 10 times because I am trying to get my nose like to snatch like this is the focal point of my face this is the focal point of your face you cannot have like no crooked looking stupid nose contour like and if, so if y'all can follow me on Instagram you should I've been doing Instagram live makeup tutorials and some of those looks will make it to my YouTube channel and some won't some will just be for Instagram live um because that's kind of the point like if you're not there you miss out so yeah follow me on Instagram at dgoods with three o's so you don't miss out on any of the looks I posted a picture recently and it's like blues and greens and stuff that was one of those looks that I did on live that will probably not be done on my on my channel so get into it get into it So they did also have this It's You setting spray and it's really nice. I actually like the packaging. The packaging for all this stuff was really like simple, really like sleek. It doesn't feel cheap at all. So I really like that a lot. This stuff definitely feels like stuff I could get out of like my drugstore or somewhere, even Ulta, even any place. Like it, it all feels super nice. And yeah, I'm just loving it. So I'm going to spray this so I can apply some highlight. Then we can finish off the eyes and get to these lips, okay? Definitely smells scented, but it's not like crazy. It's like just enough to where it doesn't even get on your nerves or anything. Like it actually smells really nice. So 
So I'm gonna go back in with this palette. I'm gonna put the darker one on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and we're gonna put it on my lower lash line. going to apply my lashes and mascara and we will be back to finish this look off got our lashes got our mascara like I said all the um, products that aren't sis star related will be in the description box so you can check those out so we are going to do lipstick and for lipstick I got this really cute it's their signature lip color and it's in bewildered this is like their nude color of course if you guys know me you guys should have expected this i actually got two lip liners and two lip colors um the other lip color i got is called great grape and it's actually like a plum color and it is like this reddish plum color it is not as matte as i would like a color like this to be i'm not really sure if it says what kind of finish they are supposed to be but Oh, honey butter texture, seductive rosy scent. So this is just more of like a shiny look, not exactly what I'm going for today. Lip liners. Now, one of them I got to go with this dark. So it's like a dark color. I believe it's called Plum Wine. I was hoping that this one would match the nude color, but it's actually like a lot more orange red than I thought it was going to be. Um, I thought it was going to be more of like a brown nude. The color is like sweet brown. So this is really weird to be called sweet brown. It's like way more orange and red than it is brown. So yeah, we're not going to use that. I am just going to quickly line my lips. We're going to go in with Bewildered, which was like their nudish color, of course. And yeah, like I said, I got this to go with this one. And if I was going for more of like a peachy nude it would look okay like i could definitely make it work but if i'm doing like trying to do this a nude nude that liner is just too red too orange that is like the real color of it the last thing i got was this blush duo it's the half moon blush duo and I think the color is rosy cheeks. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to just go in really lightly with the lighter side over here to finish out the look. We don't need anything super duper dark for this look. Be careful with the blushes because you never know how pigmented it's going to be until you do it. So yeah, we definitely don't need a lot of this. I'm still new into blush too. So I'm not going to go too crazy, but you guys could see the color payoff and I only got one swipe. So yeah, I'm going to do the same for this one. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this look. I am going to go ahead and finish my hair so I can give you guys the full look, the full visual. And then I will come back and let you guys know exactly what my final thoughts were for each product. And yeah, just give me two seconds. I'll be right back. Alright, so we're back and really quickly I just want to give you my final thoughts on these products that I got from Sistar and let you know what I think, what I recommend it, if you should go try it or what. This Sunkissed eyeshadow palette, I will show you guys the actual palette once again. This was really cool. The mattes actually held up really well and the shimmers were just okay. They were a little bit sheer, um, but the mattes actually held up really great, which to me is surprising. Usually it's the opposite, but... Um, I really like this. This color scheme, everything is so me and um, just based on how it worked out, I think I would definitely use this again. You may just have to use, um, you know, some different techniques or something with these shimmers. But yeah, I really do like this palette. Um, I think that it was okay. Not my favorite, but definitely not the worst thing out there. This translucent powder. So this translucent powder works really well um, along with the rest of the complexion products. I really like this a lot. Like it just melted into my skin. I don't know 
right now off the top of my head if it's going to flash back but for right now it actually worked really well my face doesn't look white like it melted in and like went into my skin and just it looks pretty flawless I know the lighting is a bit bright but I definitely like how it looks a lot so this is actually a thumbs up shockingly enough like I was definitely scared about this product but I'm about to give it a thumbs up okay sister okay so the concealers, I got a couple of colors for these, but if you're looking for a skin perfecter and like really just make your skin look flawless, this is definitely it. Um, I was even having like an iffy time with the uh, contour shade, but no, once you blend it out, it actually does look flawless. Like it is a skin perfecter. I would reach for these definitely. So I am glad about these. This foundation. So I definitely like this foundation a lot. I was a little nervous about the color that I chose, but the color was great. Um, I would say go based on what you see on the website because that's exactly what I did. It doesn't feel like I have on a lot of foundation at all. It doesn't feel like I have on a lot of makeup. This contour palette worked great. I really liked how mixing the colors made my contour look. This is a contour shade I would definitely use. So the lipsticks and lip liners. Um, I really I really like the lipstick color a lot a lot this bewildered color that I have on now definitely my forte 100% this is something I would definitely reach for and wear um this great grape once again they both have like the same kind of texture and everything glide on everything um I would probably have to wear this under some these two lip liners I got were very creamy and everything they glided on I like the fact that they're retractable um one of them was called sweet brown and it definitely wasn't brown and I'm pretty sure on the website it might have looked a little darker not sure not sure don't quote me but I think I might have picked a different color than what this particularly is because this is more of like an orangey red. It is, it's not giving brown at all. And then the other one was um, plum wine or something, I believe. And yeah, that one was absolutely great. That is pretty much it for this entire face using Sistar Cosmetics. Um, like I said, I did something really, really simple. I just wanted to go through and be able to like test things out see how they work and yeah I had those braids in my hair to give myself like this big kind of like wavy look so yeah if you guys are interested in that all I did was braid my hair and then unbraid it that's it so yeah thank you guys so much for watching you guys let me know what you thought of these products I will leave all the information for this brand down below in the description box once again thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video and if you guys like these cosmetics if you guys like this stuff check out the website I am pleasantly pleasantly surprised by everything I got because I was thinking maybe I would be really more into the eyeshadow but I'm really actually a lot more into the, all the complexion stuff that I got so yeah um check them out I don't even think that I showcase enough natural or light to medium coverage type of makeup on my YouTube channel so I'm showing y'all natural but beat realness so y'all better take it all in so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you guys are watching my videos if you guys are here and supporting please don't forget to leave a like and leave a comment it just helps me out a lot and if you really want to support if you really want to show that you support my page share my video on your platforms I'm sure that there is a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend that might love to see my channel you never know so if you guys share it facebook twitter definitely wanted to start throwing that in because maybe you guys don't know that it really does help me a lot when you guys comment and share my videos so yeah i appreciate you guys so much thank you and i'll see you in the next one bye